From the valley to the Alps, from historic sites to the panoramas, in the canton of Valle, the urban and raw are so nearby, which makes this canton to one of the best regions in Switzerland for going on a road trip. Strap yourself in for this adventure taking you from Brieg up to Sasfe. Hello everyone, Hi. welcome back to my channel Gemographic. Today I'm traveling with Johannes. We've been friends since we were small and now we're going to show you the beautiful town of Brieg. And after that, where are we going? Let's go to Sarsfe. Brieg has a very charming old town. It's really worth to explore it. It's not too touristy. In general, it's less known. And because of that, it's going to be really calm, but then it's still quite happening because there are a lot of locals. So all in all, I would say the vibes present in there are really great. Brieg is quite easy to reach. You can arrive by train. The train station is just in front of the old town. Thus, it's going to be really convenient. Otherwise, you may arrive by car and find any parking lot around the town. The old town of Brieg is not too large, although there are a couple of really nice things to see. And then, of course, there are many alleys to explore. But I would say one hour should be definitely enough. We just arrived at the Stock Alperschloss and here you can see the yard, it's really beautiful with the many arcades, definitely a great place to take photos. The Stockhalper Castle is a historic site of Switzerland. It was built in 1671 by Kaspar Stockhalper. He was a very rich businessman and politician. Then, what's really interesting about the castle, you can see there are these three towers. They're called Melchior, Balthasar and Kaspar, an allusion to the three biblical kings. Sharing my thoughts, I think he named these three towers also possibly because of his own name, Kaspar, and then he was possibly also quite a religious man. In the past, the people of the canton of Valle used to be very religious Catholics. The castle was handed over to the municipality of Brieg in 1948. Since then it's in public hands. There is by the way a museum at the inside. And what's also quite interesting, the city hall is also located in the castle. In order to reach Sosfe, you would have to continue to fish. Over there you may take a bus, otherwise you just go by car. And then you would have to drive basically the same way as if you would be going up to Zermatt. But then in Staldensaus you would have to turn left. Now before you're going to reach Sausgrund to ascend Sausfe, I highly recommend to stop at Sausbalen. Over there are the Fellbach Falls, in my opinion one of the most underrated waterfalls of Switzerland. And interestingly they also happen to be very non-touristy. We just arrived at the Fellbach Falls. My friend Johannes, he just went down there and, well, <laughs> he was totally soaked. So, his fans are now all wet. But hey, it's so cool here, right? Yeah, very cool. So, yeah, here you see the waterfall. Really, really impressive. <laughs> Myself now I'm totally soaked. My pants, shoes, everything is wet. Even my sunglasses. <laughs> but yeah, it was really fun in here. Probably better to come here with the swimming suit. I think it's more fun. The moment you enter the village, you will realize it's quite calm. 
This has much to do with sulfate being car free. It's a really great principle which I really like because no outside cars are allowed to enter and thus you will only have these electric cars that you will see once in a while. They are always driven by the locals, mostly by hotels and I just feel this really adds up some great holiday vibes. Whenever I'm in South Fay, I find it's very enjoyable to walk through the village, especially in the evening. It's really calm, and then all the streets and the houses, all together it's just really beautiful. And as I always keep telling you, make sure that you explore the side alleys, there is usually a lot to discover. Once in a while you will also find a great photo spot. Then definitely very nice is also going to the gorge. Over there you will see the canyon is very steep. I think this is just really impressive. Besides the many pretty alleys, streets and houses, also do not forget to take a look up to the mountains. You'll see the Alalinhorn, which is the most prominent peak of South Fe, and then of course all these glaciers around there. South Fe often is named as the village of the glaciers, this has much to do with it being quite shadowy, especially in winter. Because of that, South Fe has a lot of massive glaciers. They used to reach down very far to the village in the 1970s, but because of global warming, they are on a retreat. However, in 2022, they are still quite prominent, so you still may enjoy seeing them. As you're exploring the village, make sure that you will reach this spot, the rock with the many traditional wooden houses. That's actually my favorite one in all of Sauce Fe. We're now between the houses. So cool. Hey, that is so sad. It's echt hammer. Yeah, what? I'm failed so bad. So we are walking on the rock, and yeah, this is really something very unique. It's comparable to the old town of Zermatt, but. <laughs> we are standing on the rock itself. Wow, so exciting. Then you can actually pass below the houses. So cool. Stottel plate, Stottel leg. So this is to prevent the mice from coming up. Simple but smart solution. And hey, this part, I don't know, it's so genius. I absolutely love it. There are a couple of hotels and restaurants where you can dine at in South Fe. For example, the Capra or then also the Walliserhof. And what you should definitely have, should you be up in the mountains, is a cheese fondue. Now make sure don't have it for lunch, have it for dinner because it's quite heavy. This is really something special because that's our national dish. Now after having dinner, I highly recommend you to explore the village during dusk, especially with the blue hour. All the colors are going to be really enhanced, the cold and then the warm. This is just great if you want to take beautiful photos. We're now going to take you up to the lookout point called Honnick. So for that you have to take this cable lift. It takes you up there. Both of us have never been, right? Is it your first time as well? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so let's go and check it out together. We just arrived on the Honnick on 2300 meters. It looks promising, the weather is quite good. We have quite a nice view. So there you can see a couple of glaciers. But what's very characteristic about the weather today is this very thin layer of high fog. Once having arrived there, I realized that the Honnick is quite less busy. Thus, if you really want to avoid the crowds, especially during peak season, then I would say the Honnick is 
definitely a great spot to go to. From there you may really enjoy a beautiful view over the village of Sauce Fe and then also the many glaciers. What I really liked about the Halnik, it's very serene, and then just inhaling the fresh alpine air. Wow, it's just such a beautiful place to be in. We are now just at the lookout point of the Hamnik. Same name as you. <laughs> so his name is Johannes, but short it's Hamni. And the place here is Hamnik. <laughs> so I wish to go. It's very peaceful up here and the view is fantastic. You have a lot of glaciers. But yeah, what is really sad, in the 1970s, all those glaciers, they really came all the way down to the village. So over there you see there is a lake. The glacier used to reach down until there, but now it has retreated so much. It's really sad. There's also a restaurant and a playground. Thus, if you arrive with your family and kids, then I would say the Hanik is definitely a great place to go to. From the Hanik, there are a lot of hiking trails that you may take, especially if you want to return to the village. It's really going to be quite serene and you're going to have always a different impression of the glaciers. Well, if you're too lazy for that, then just take the teleferic down. Now going to try out this Alpine roller coaster. So one ticket costs seven francs for adults. And yeah, this is actually a very common thing that you can find up here in the Swiss Alps. So if you really like to have some thrill, definitely go and try it. <laughs> the first run was really fine. Hey, it's actually really safe, so don't worry. You should really try it out. And well, remember, you can always break if it's too fast. So. If you're not really eager to try high speed, well, then just break and it's going to be fine. I hope you enjoyed our tour around Brieg and Sauce It was really cool. So if you enjoyed watching this video, please give this video a like, leave a comment, share it to your friends, it would be really awesome. Also, if you're new to this channel, then you're most welcome to subscribe. We're going to see each other very soon. <laughs>